What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to fix every kind of crashing on StoryDub or crashing on StoryDub if you're currently having with Tower of Fantasy. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will probably know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want to you guys know, let you guys know that, that I would really, really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys. You would support my work on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say let's get right started. So the first step in order to fix this kind of issue is gonna be to open up your task manager by using the shortcut or navigating down to your taskbar, right clicking your taskbar and opening up your task manager. The next step is gonna be to navigate to the top left corner of your screen, clicking onto processes, just ensuring that you're sticking around it. And afterwards, I want you to click one of those random processes and just type in T in order to find Tower Fantasy. If nothing pops up, it's good for you. If something pops up, just simply right click and enter the task. So once you're finished, you should be able to enter Task Manager again. And the next step is going to be to take your Tower Fantasy shortcut or your launcher, wherever you downloaded it. You're going to right click it and simply go down to your uh, to run as an adversary. If uh, you click that, your Tower Fantasy will start. And if it crashes again, uh, the next step will probably fix it, so just right click it, go down to properties, hit compatibility, and enable run this program in compatibility mode for you. Select Windows 8, disable the disable full screen optimizations, and as well as enable run this program as an administrator, hit apply and OK. Once you did that, I would personally recommend you to restart your PC afterwards. And once it is restored, you should be, should be able to uh, see this little administrator symbol right on your Tau Fantasy shortcut. And uh, what I want you to do is going to simply double click it and restart it. This will probably fix your issue. That's it for the video. I hope that I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that. And I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.